back this morning, fresh, ready to go. So I'm just trying to capture some of the hard work we did yesterday with lots of fun. Forest, law, enforcement, governance, trade. That's how we started yesterday. Okay. So we began with introductions and reflections on what some of the key words relating to the workshop made us think about when we received the initial communication about the workshop. So I drew the reflections, which when posted on the wall, made a very interesting collapse still up there. There was an umbrella depict, depicting the overarching governance, the port, which required ingredients from all stakeholders. There were forests, rivers and seas, birds and fish, among other animals, vendors, forest rangers, and even the charcoal to boil the port. Many expectations of the workshop were expressed, but from all of it, I conclude we all want to leave more informed, learning from the shared experiences, some foundation for networking. After brainstorming on the term governance, we accepted to move on with the definition, the process of decision making, and process by which these are implemented or not implemented about the use of force. That's correct. Mm -hmm. The activity which followed allowed country teams to assess the situation in their respective countries and identify some of the issues concerning forest governance. Many issues highlighted were found common to the islands. Among the issues inadequate and outdated legislation or policy, including land use policies, <coughs> capacity and resource constraints, irresponsible behavior of politicians and their lack of political will, the need for greater public awareness, more research and training for stakeholders, and a less fragmented approach to forest management are among the many issues pinned up here. <coughs> and one of the stress and challenges of having to implement a plan designed by others that would not participate in, in the process or had any opportunity to contribute your expertise, your local knowledge, and experience to craft. That's sad. An issue which was raised and probably requires more discussion pertains to forest governance for projects and the implications of that mode of operation. This may be a reflection of budgetary constraints. To address this, the recommendation was made that the approach should be design and implementation of programs. The afternoon session began with introduction to participatory approaches, linking the definition of good governance accepted in earlier sessions. It is important to know that the participatory process Center and allows for involvement of people who stand to lose or gain. This approach provides opportunities for people who otherwise would not have a say to contribute and participate in the decision making process and implementing process. The discussion in this session centered on what is participation, who must participate as stakeholders, and concerns about types and the level of participation by various stakeholders. And Nicole had some issues with that. On the spectrum of participation, the activity was very interesting and thought provoking as we were to examine ourselves, our organization, and our country to give a rating in terms of measure of the depth of participation process in which we will engage. And we have, we have to post it up there. An analysis of the ratings depicted on the wall indicated a need for change towards a more participatory approach to forest governance, which we are all going to work towards. Some of the factors we consider relating to the sectors, legislation and formal policy, international process and requirements, demand, pressure from stakeholders, and others. Factors relating to the organization, including organization culture, vision, and leadership. And there was much clarification of types of participation. A few examples were given, and we still have them up here, so we can all take notes. Debate on what type of participation we should engage in. And this was demonstrated through the minister and the various persons who did their presentations to the minister. We saw something that was almost real, something we see in our everyday workplace 
and homes or communities. And the values and challenges of participatory process, of participatory process was also brought out in that um, demonstration yesterday. And are we interested in the process or the results? I think this was a key question I was asked towards the end. Are we interested in the process or in the results? And when we looked at, if we go back and reflect on what we did throughout the day yesterday, we should be able to, each of us examine ourselves and answer that question. So as we move on today, um, we want to be very productive, continue getting information and sharing our experiences, and look forward to an even better evening. Thank you.